Good morning, or whatever time you're watching this, and hello, explorers, and welcome back to another Van Life Adventure vlog. I hope you're all having a fantastic day today. I know I am for sure. Currently, I'm filming this on Saturday, October 29th of 2022 at about 8 o'clock in the morning, in the first year of my Van Life Adventure, if you're curious about that. And before I begin my fun journey to Lover's Leap Overlook, I just want to give you seven life updates. I'm just going to jump right into it, and here we go. I uploaded the seven compilation mixes to the music section of my website. I highly recommend checking it out in the link below. That link is always at the top of the description below every single video. And then I received my official activism book from Shutterfly. I watched Halloween Ends in the Withville Movie Theater with my mom. There's uh, me and her just sitting there in like the middle seat or whatever. It was pretty insane. I'm not going to give any spoilers, but uh, it's still in theater, so I definitely recommend checking it out. It was pretty crazy. <laughs> and then I ordered a laser measure device and a new wallet case for my iPhone. It's green. It looks pretty like military-like. <laughs> it's pretty sweet. As of this current moment, it hasn't came in mail yet, but I guess so, uh, I don't know, after the uh, B-roll footage pretty soon. I'll definitely show you. Don't know how. Probably have to hold my phone up in the mirror or something. <laughs> so that's going to be a lot of fun. And then I made my Visit West Virginia video. Uh, I guess I'll go ahead and put the thumbnail there. I uploaded it to my eight different Rumble channels. And obviously, again, as of this current moment, that's something I haven't done yet. But I'll definitely get that edited and everything. I just woke up and thought about making it. I never even intended to make a video like that. But uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. <laughs> it's just B-roll footage and everything from the uh, 34 places I've been to in West Virginia since July of 2020. Before my uh, van life venture even began. <laughs> That was my uh, West Virginia cycle ride. For those of you who've been following me for that long, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> so I definitely bring out my MacBook right here and my hard drives and find all the footage and put it together. So uh, yeah, that link is also down below. And then I uh, renew my tags, changed my oil, and bought a multimeter for my van. And then finally, I got the front of my van fixed and I'm ordering a new blower motor, finally, <laughs> uh, at the end of this trip because I'd rather have the 81 bucks in my account just in case something happens. And uh, for those of you who've been commenting or whatever, I think it's just one person commented three separate times on my channel in the last year. They've been wondering when I'm going to make a trip out to Richmond. So uh, definitely stay tuned, I think, for the eighth video or something like that. Uh, I'm going to be checking out Maymont Park. I think it's pretty huge. There's some lakes and a river and a pathway and stuff like that, a bunch of bridges and everything. So yeah, Richmond is like the capital or something of the state of Virginia. And yeah, making it out there. <laughs> Super excited, buddy. And uh, I'll be leaving on Wednesday, November 9th. And the day before, I'll be uh, getting my van fixed, like I just talked about earlier, at Huff Collision. <laughs> so definitely check out the 27 second uncut video clip of me hitting that deer in Floyd, Virginia that I, uh, you know, told you about and uh, showed the uh, damage <laughs> at the end of my last video when I uh, checked out a uh, Wade Recreation Area and, you know, my last trip in October. It was fun too on Blue Ridge Parkway. And then another thing I want to mention is the first link down below. I call it a censored adventure vlog. <laughs> that was my van life update at Hale Lake video that I made back in February of this year. Long story short, YouTube blatantly violated my first amendment right for the fourth time by getting rid of it. So I could go to Withville to the uh, Royal King parking lot and park there. And like, I think just after sunrise, it was super cold and, uh, you know, just, I just re-uploaded it. <laughs> so you know, you can still watch it if you want. And also this clip, check that out. This is pretty insane looking. You're wondering what the heck is Cinnamon Swirl and then the other kitten doing down there in their good old little hideout in that <laughs> section underneath my what mom's porch. <laughs> well, they're actually hiding back on the 23rd of October from the cages. <laughs> Basically, uh, a neighbor of uh, my mom like over eight years ago in the house we used to live in up in the northern part of the state of Virginia. She used to, I think she passed away about a year ago, but uh, her name was Miss Dolores. <laughs> she uh, worked in a place called Rifu Ricky's Refuge and, uh, you know, just helping out, uh, you know, stray cats and dogs and animals and stuff like that. They're a no-kill shelter, but she had a friend named Donna and uh, I think she moved down here to Max Meadows somewhere and she came over with some other lady to pick up the cats. <laughs> to get them fixed because my mom simply can't afford the cat food anymore. <laughs> and the only two that are left as of this current moment are the two white ones, and that's Snowflake and Snowball. <laughs> but anyway, I guess that's pretty much it for the updates. And the last thing I want to show is my The Valley of Freedom from 1,640 feet above the top of Collins Cove, Virginia picture. 
Look how cool this is. <laughs> That's the maximum height my DJI Mavic Mini drone can go. I'm gonna keep right down there in the middle drawer of my nightstand. And uh, yeah, I just wanted to show it because it's just awesome, buddy. <laughs> I can't wait to buy a uh, paramotor in the future. Hopefully, I can actually buy a $3,400 uh, paraglider in uh, April of 2027, which will be one year after I hit the road for most of next year of 2023, which will be the second year of my van life adventure. And I decided the month before that, which will be March, when I replace my leaf springs, I'm going to reorder my Rolling Revival posters. That's, you know, one inside here and then one on the back door and the two on the outside walls of my van, along with my uh, hoodie and t-shirt on my merch store that I definitely recommend checking out the link, link below and the stickers again <laughs> and the only difference of what it's going to look on here is it would just be the link in QR to my Rumble channel and that's what I'll be doing next year just uploading everything to Rumble because I can't deal with YouTube's freaking censored freaking ship crap anymore and yeah i just been chilling here parked in the driveway my mom's house and uh you know the surrounding areas of you know cripple creek ivanhoe uh with the road retreat and stuff like that that's what i call the valley of freedom uh i don't really think it's like an official place obviously because i named it <laughs> but uh, yeah just been chilling here with the cord plugged in i currently have my uh, electric heater plugged in right here my battery powered portable fan running and yeah just woke up and guess i'll just stop delaying and please come along for the ride by hitting that subscribe button and check out the description down below if you want to learn more about me and the type of van that i live in long story short it's awesome <laughs> look at my ceiling i'm so thankful i replaced this thing back in september <laughs> oh yeah my mom bought me a new curtain pole you can't tell the difference big freak because the old one is black and this one is obviously black but the reason why i had to replace it is because it was bent right there from putting up the ceiling i got it stuck so it definitely looks pretty good. So it's about a week later and I just wanted to uh, pop in here real quick and add a couple things that I actually did and I wasn't really expecting to do. <laughs> First one is uh, I actually decided to buy my Van Life Adventure original footage safe from Walmart. It's just a cheap standard $20 combination lock one. And then my 2022 Van Life Adventure hard drive, it was a Toshiba 4 terabyte I bought a couple months ago, barely fit inside of it. <laughs> I basically just put it on the top shelf in there inside my bigger safe, so I'll literally have a safe inside of a safe, which is hilarious. <laughs> and then the other thing that I did was spray painted this uh, piece of plywood black and then simply secured it down with wood screws. And then I replaced the two screws that are holding in the one corner bracket with bolts and I went underneath of my van in the dark to secure the nut on there. So that was extremely difficult, but I'm glad I got it done. And obviously, like always, there's no bolts in the side and then on these front ones either. It was just too much of a pain in the butt. <laughs> so just under this one, it's just your standard screws. And then obviously I secured these uh, two corner brackets right up there in front of my Jackery battery. So this stuff ain't going nowhere now. <laughs> it's super awesome. It looks extremely good. <laughs> but yeah, it's specifically November 3rd. I'm glad I got everything done today right here in the Royal King parking lot in Withville. And the uh, renewing my tags was actually cheaper than expected. I thought it was going to be 85 bucks, but it turned out to be 69.50. And here's the view for curious. It was extremely foggy out here all the way until 11 o'clock. And then here's the view up my back window. There's a good old little trucker over there. <laughs> and I actually wanted to, uh, you know, show you what my new iPhone case looks like that I was talking about earlier. Uh, I decided just to bring up the webcam thing on my MacBook because obviously it's a lot better view because my mirror is pretty small. I don't really think you'd be able to see much. <laughs> and yeah, that's basically what it looks like right there. As you can see, this little thing says VRS design and it's like a little steel plate and it's just standard like plastic and whatnot. I guess that's basically all you can see. <laughs> and then here's my 2023, uh, I don't know, van life poster or whatever I called it that I was talking about earlier. <laughs> see, it's really not that different at all. It's just, you know, put a little rumble stuff up there and actually made it in color. <laughs> So I guess it stands out pretty good. And then one, I think I'm going to mention two other things that I mentioned in my uh, Van Life updated Hail Lake video that I was talking about earlier. One of them was I deleted Twitter and Instagram off my phone. <laughs> and then 
I bought this USB-C to SD card adapter from Amazon that I use for my dash cam footage. I basically just pop out the micro SD card out the left side, put it in here and plug it into my MacBook and transfer it. <laughs> it comes in super handy. And again, that was back in February. So it's the night before I get my van fixed and leave on this trip. I just wanted to share this video clip of an old 1855 painting of downtown Withville in a place called Jojo's Attic that I went to on a rainy Sunday with my mom. It was pretty cool looking around there and this clip of crispy cream the kitten that went underneath of the couch <laughs> Look how hilarious that is. She simply snuck under there after my mom put her down. And I was the one that originally picked her up from the rocking chair on the front porch and brought her in to uh, cuddle and stuff. It was super cool. And that's pretty much it for the updates and everything I wanted to mention in this video. Sorry for this intro. That was 10 minutes. <laughs> but anyway, just gonna relax, finish up what I have to do here, my laptop and everything. That, I don't know, I guess I'll go ahead and show. Look at how crazy this is. <laughs> And then I guess I'll head on down the road in the future. a super nice drive all the way up here please give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it i know i definitely did for sure i think it's 12 o'clock in the afternoon and obviously huff collision successfully replaced the front end of my van i'm just gonna walk over here real quick and show you they uh haven't got the uh turn signal assembly in the uh mail yet or whatever but uh yeah at the end of this trip i have to go back there probably on the 16th <laughs> pick it up but uh yeah it looks super good thankfully they actually got the grill with the emblem in there and this one is actually inside of it <laughs> look how cool that is the old one that fell off that i just left in the middle of the road in the uh, last video of my last trip when i went through blue ridge parkway and i hit that deer that i was talking about earlier <laughs> and i just left it on the road it was all old and you know, faded and crap. <laughs> and it was actually just sticking out down to the, to the front. But uh, yeah, I really like how that's up in there. <laughs> and uh, I guess I got a little bit of dirt on my tire over here. I don't know where this dirt came from. <laughs> Most likely it came from all that construction they're doing down there. <laughs> So that's pretty nuts. You probably saw that in the footage. And before I walk up that way, to show you a lover's leap overlook, <laughs> just wanna mention something real quick. It's pretty uh, quick, obviously. It's not really anything too interesting, but I feel like it's important to let you guys know so you're not like worried or anything, like where the heck did I go? <laughs> and that thing is simply this. Because this is the uh, first video in the uh, second to last road trip, specifically on Tuesday, November 8th of 2022, which is the first year of my van life adventure. <laughs> uh, got pretty much 23 videos left after this one and then i'll just be basically hibernating <laughs> for january february and march of 2023 i'll probably be obviously replacing my leaf springs in march <laughs> just be chilling while my mom is uh going to see a reba mcintyre concert in charlottesville for the weekend and she's leaving friday march 10th and uh yeah i have to get just these couple of things situated i'll be leaving for eight and a half months <laughs> starting on monday april 3rd of 2023 probably go through west virginia and travel through one state every month. Obviously, that's, uh, you know, West Virginia, Pennsylvania, New York State, and then those two small sliver states of uh, Vermont and New Hampshire. And I'll probably be in Maine in September, and then Massachusetts in October, and then Connecticut in November, which is a year from now. <laughs> and yeah, I don't, don't really know what else I'll be doing, but I'll definitely be checking out the uh, Finger Lakes up there, and Niagara Falls, and probably some abandoned spots, <laughs> and most likely revisiting the uh, Kernsville Lake in Pennsylvania that I went to closer to the end of my West Virginia cycle ride back in July of 2020 on my journey to van life. So, I won't be uploading any more of my uh, travel vlogs and stuff, adventure vlogs or whatever you want to call them, right here to my YouTube channel after my recap video of this year. So, if you want to know where I'll be uploading everything from uh, here on out, again, starting 
next year, <laughs> just subscribe to my Rumble channel. <laughs> like I mentioned the uh, poster earlier, there'll be a QR code right up there for my Rumble channel. And obviously you already saw that, so it's just simply rumble.com slash Eric Casey, which, I don't know, is my name. It's pretty easy to spell. Probably put the little uh, QR code in the link right here if you're interested. There it is. <laughs> so all you have to do is just go over there and subscribe. It's free. <laughs> I think you'll uh, have a really great time following me over there. And the main reason is uh, not necessarily to try something new. That is kind of part of it. But uh, for the most part, uh, I'm tired of YouTube's blatant First Amendment right violation bullcrap. And I don't want to have the uh, thought in the back of my head nagging at me 24-7. You know, worrying about not being able to upload for a week or two weeks or having my YouTube channel deleted <laughs> for nothing. <laughs> And I'm over all that freaking activism stuff. I don't care what happens to the freaking earth anymore. <laughs> I really don't give a crap. God is in control. God has always been in control. And for the last time, this trip is the last time I'm going to mention it from here on out, I promise. If you want to check out the activism side of my life, just go to the activism section in my photography website and in, in the link below. It's just simply always there at the top, ericcaseyphotography.com. <laughs> And obviously the damn recording this is election day, so I don't really know, you know, who's running in the state of Virginia. But again, I don't care. <laughs> I'm not worried about it. And I'm going to stop scratching these uh, scabs on my chest <laughs> from uh, that deer tick that I got back in July when I went through West Virginia. <laughs> anyway, that's basically it for that. Most likely, you clicked on the uh, thumbnail of the video. You know, it was a drone picture. Hopefully I can actually get my drone up there. <laughs> It's extremely open over here and huge. Look how amazing this is. <laughs> Not really quite going to go over to the overlook yet, but uh, you'll probably see drone footage of it pretty darn soon. You know, I don't want to leave my door open. <laughs> Even though I'm the only person here, which is hilarious. <laughs> Why is that always a thing? I have plenty of time here, I think. I think the sunset sets at like 6 o'clock or something. It does get dark earlier, so I don't know. I don't want to stay here for too long because I have like a 30-mile drive to the, uh, I think it's called Fall Creek falls or waterfall or something like that a part of a uh, mayo river state park so definitely stay tuned for that if you want to see that down there it's uh i think it's gonna be a lot of fun <laughs> so many uh rolling hills and old barns and stuff out here it's amazing so here's the tour it's basically nothing <laughs> It's not even that much of a tour at all. It's just a simple open wraparound parking lot. I just noticed this. The uh, median here is in the shape of a heart. <laughs> well, what do you know? How about that? Freaking amazing. Anyway, I uh, just wanted to mention real quick that I think this Friday, the 11th is Veterans Day. And hopefully it's not raining too bad, you know, where I can actually enjoy the, uh, you know, Maymont Park in Richmond, like a lot. <laughs> hopefully I'm not walking around that place with my umbrella the whole time. Time. But uh, yeah, just like I mentioned in previous videos, I'm finally making a trip out to Richmond. And actually remembered the person that commented now. I think their uh, channel name was uh, The Life of Jeremiah something. <laughs> it's pretty cool. I'm excited to uh, finally get out there. I think the uh, last and first and only time I went there, I think it was back in 2008 or something, in my uh, old middle school called Snowden Academy, back in my previous life, what I call it. <laughs> and uh, I think I that in my random memories from my previous life little poster and uh, the origin story thing, like pretty much at the top. If Again, if you go to my website, that's also there as well. It's just called uh, Origin Story. Just little three lines at the top right hand side of the uh, front page there, if you want to read that. <laughs> I think there's a lot. I think there's like 20 of them. But yeah, I've been through a lot in my life and I don't really know how long this video is going to be in total, but uh, I'll definitely be relaxing here. And after the footage, I'll probably pick back up over there. So definitely keep watching. But uh, there's one quick thing I want to mention, and that is if you feel like supporting my me financially, you don't have to if you don't want to, but uh, I have a Patreon page. It's three bucks a month. You get a lot of amazing things on there. It's definitely worth every penny. Some of them are uh, early release videos, uh, beyond the scenes content, shout out at the end of every one of my videos. And we will reach our first goal of 200 followers. I'll be mailing everybody a free photo magnet. All you have to do is get a screenshot of the uh, one picture that you want over the landscape print section of my website and uh, send it to me along with your physical mailing address and the email down below this video. And it will truly be along for the ride. <laughs> That'll be super freaking awesome when eventually I can get to there and uh, don't really have to worry about money anymore. <laughs> you know, it's kind of difficult and kind of a weird financial situation in my life still. So that email is called rollingrevivalfund at gmail.com. I just created it here. 
So, uh, yeah, the link to my Patreon will be down below, like always. <laughs>